Hey, you doing everyone? Great dance. Be here once again. We're facing an all diamond freaking squad this game. I was like, oh man, but that has nothing to do with what I actually want to talk about. With the exception of this guy, I just had an all diamond squad, and I was like, okay, he plays a lot or put a lot of money in the game. What I do actually really want to speak about here is the hitting in the game. I know I spoke about this the other day, but I want to touch on it more because this was probably one of the most frustrating games. I had ever played this particular one. I don't mean the the video game itself, not the title MLB 17, the show. Although it can be pretty frustrating. If I wasn't winning so much, it'd probably be more frustrating. I'm currently uh, 19 and three in ranked seasons. I'm just on the cusp of <laughs> cusp on the cusp of um, the championship series. So I am winning a lot. I haven't lost a game in quite a while. I don't think I, I think I'm on like an 11 game winning streak. Or something along those lines. So I can't say it's frustrating in the sense that I'm not, you know, that I'm losing games because of this. But it's just really, really frustrating regardless. So what the thing that I'm talking about is the difference between getting, you know, good timing, like good green timing and having your, the center part of your uh, reticle on the ball and not getting hits compared to people that, that maybe their, their reticle's on the ball but they're just late or late and they're rocketing balls either the other way or up the middle when all of a sudden when it doesn't really make sense when you're getting all this good green timing and they're like fly ball outs pop-ups when you're directly centered on it and their hits are slower it doesn't make sense so like right there I was a little bit off that one so I didn't really highlight that one and zoom in on it because I was a little bit off although my timing was good but the whole thing is is that I see people that have really bad timing late timing and their reticle probably wasn't on and they rocket balls though and to tell you the truth, I feel like if you have it inside your reticle, it should be at least an okay hit. It doesn't need to necessarily fall for a base hit. But, like, look at that. Look at that. I didn't miss that by much. Okay, I'm not saying that should have been, like, a double in the gap, but it was a lazy fly ball. And then here with uh, David Wright, I'm pretty sure something similarly happened there. But if I don't highlight it in the thing, that's because I didn't think it was too ridiculous. I could see it being an out. But there, trust me, there are tons of things... That I highlight in this game. I probably got to cut this gameplay down a little bit, but I want to show what was happening a little bit in the game too, so you guys can see the pitching too. So it's not just a video on the hitting, although that is mainly what it's focused on, because it is one of my Diamond Dynasty games and ranked seasons, and I am posting every last one of them, whether I am posting it while recording after the fact, like this, or if I do a live commentary, or if I do a live stream. I want all my ranked seasons games. To be up and I want them to be well technically this is not going to be in order um, this is the last game I played there's one game before this which I also win which I win uh, convincingly actually so here with Freddie Freeman I'm pretty sure I was like directly on it this time well let's see we'll see in a second let's see so yeah we were right on that so when you're right on it like that you should get hits like that but if you look at the swing the uh, speed off the bat there it was 96 miles an hour and I see people hit 108 miles per hour when they're late or very late, which I think is ridiculously stupid. So there with Matt Carpenter, I don't know why I cut it out, but I actually had good timing on that well as well. And you saw it was a little dinky, it's a little dinky hit. And I understand Carpenter doesn't hit lefties all that well, but you would think that it wouldn't be a little weak ground ball, you know, double play. At least hit it hard somewhere. So there's just lots of things that are happening right now with the reticles in this game and the PCI. I don't know what it is. I'm not so sure if, you know, they know about this. <laughs> I'm, I'm hoping they do. I think in Cardinal Bird 5's, one of his videos, he actually touched on saying that they've, uh, saying that those things shouldn't be happening, like rocking the balls, like the other way. Like this one, I was pretty sure I got all of this. And it's just the ball to the warning track. So let's check it out right here and see what it, what it shows us. So I was a little bit under it, but it's not chased it. I chased it, excuse me, that the ball was inside the strike zone. I didn't chase anything. So that's one thing I'm seeing a lot. And this was just a this was a mistake pitch. You know, it was a slider that I missed my spot. And I was like, damn man, he rocked it. But I, it went the other way. And let's see. He was just late. And it was kind of on the inner quadrant. Okay? So that kind of annoys me. Or the inner third, really. It annoys me that if it was a fastball and he took it the other way. Okay, but it was also a bomb, man. Like, that's ridiculous. If you're late or just late, you should not be hitting home runs on inside pitches the opposite field for bombs. It just doesn't make sense. And it was it was a bomb. It was an upper deck shot. It hit the, it hit the facade over here, like in the uh, coat corner over there. So that kind of annoyed me. And that was, the, that was the first hit I'd given up in this game. 
And of course, what's a bomb too is a Diamond Dynasty player. Don't even get me started on Diamond Dynasty players. Though that's a whole another story. I don't think they belong in the game. To be honest with you, you have road to the show to do those things. I don't think there should be a Diamond Dynasty player because everybody makes their guys switch header. Or they should balance it out some other way. You know, I think they did a little better job with balancing it out this year in, this, in the sense that your guy doesn't just go up <laughs> and look at that one. So apparently, uh... I was just late on that one, or I, had, I didn't see the uh, if it's a good content, and I then cut that off by accident. But I, I was pretty much on that, and nothing really happened. And you know, don't get me wrong, not everything I highlight here do I feel should fall. Like like there, for example, my timing was good. It was kind of outside the reticle. Okay, don't don't necessarily think I deserve a hit on that. And this was a rocket, though. Look at this shiza, and nothing, nothing. So, you know, it, it gets frustrating when you're going over and over again. And, and this, this guy was pitching CC Sabathia. For whatever reason, whenever I face him, this happens all the time. I just hit rockets at people. He doesn't strike me out. I know he has a case, I mean, a, uh, a hits per nine, like 85, which is fantastic for a starter. But come on, give me a break. All right, give me a break. So this one, I think he was late on this one too. And this guy was actually, some of the things were happening to him as well, where he was finally putting good swings on stuff and they were going for outs. So now look, so again, the PCI placement isn't isn't accurate when you're looking at your opponent, but my guess considering where he hit that ball, he was probably directly on it, and you know, nothing nothing good came of it. And so far his only hit in the game is something that he was very late on a breaking ball inside and takes it and took it the other way for a bomb, absolute bomb home run. So um, this I'm gonna actually show the, the I don't know why the heck I showed this whole at bat here. But this is I was trying to at this point, because he was throwing a ton of strikes too. And CC has a lot of stamina. I was just trying to get him to like miss some pitches. So, you know, we could get his confidence down a little bit and drain his energy a little bit. Because at this point, I was like, I'm going to get shut out one to nothing. And I'm going to throw in one hitter and I'm going to lose. It's really how I was thinking at this point. A good at bat here with Freddie Freeman, who is probably the second best player on my team, in my honest opinion, behind um, the epic uh, All Star 99 overall. 2007 David Wright who's a beast and this one I thought I got all of two and you know then I'm like like, like off my uh, swing not once I actually saw where the ball was going but you know when when I actually hit that X button I thought that ball was going let's see let's take a look where was that look at that look again it wasn't perfectly centered that one but it shouldn't have been a shot that was that easy and this one this one I'm pretty sure was perfectly centered let's go take let's go take a look at this bad boy over here Look at that! That's pretty damn close to being perfect, and it's just a line drive out. This one, I think this this one I just missed too. So there were a ton of these in this game, which was making it really frustrating, is that I was timing this guy. And again, I was off, oh no, you don't even know if you're off um, during that. That looks nothing like where the ball was. The ball was actually up. So when you're at the end of the innings, it's not an accurate representation where that goes. The feedback is kind of broken. They never fixed that, even from last year. Um, but my timing was good. It was green, and for the looks of for, for me in in real time in in the game, it looked like I smashed that, and I got nothing for it. So that's pretty much just what this has been. It's been a lot of uh, <laughs> this game, and you see, and you come across a lot, a lot of good feedback on pitches, and you're just not getting the hits. And then when your opponents, and you, and that's the whole thing too. I wouldn't be so annoyed with it if they weren't falling all the time and they shouldn't fall all the time even in real life you could people rocket balls and they just you know fine outfielders and things like that those things absolutely happen and just like players get you know hits in a teleport pitch there i somehow hit this teleported pitch i have no idea how how i was able to uh to hit that i was gonna check my swing and then it just came in and i just you know held the button down and i was able to um yeah, look at that. So I had good timing there. So, but if you look, I'm way above it though. So it's kind of odd. So I, I almost feel like when you're closer to the center, it's not as good as a hit, which makes absolutely zero sense. I don't know if the feedback is off in the game. I don't know. I, I really couldn't honestly tell you, but I would like to know. I know there are a ton of people experiencing this. I've seen Cardinal Bird 5 post about this stuff. Uh, C Saint talks about it. Um, Movie Gaming talks about it as well. And there's just some weird weird things that are happening you know in the game look at that look at that it was like a weak little dinky line drive and i was right on it for 87 miles per hour are you kidding me and i think this one right here was one where i actually threw my controller up in the air when i actually saw where the feedback was oh no not this one this one actually lands for a hit and this stunk i told him to go back to third and he didn't listen 
It was one of those deals where I don't I don't know what happened. Maybe I was a little bit off on my joystick, but I was I wanted to punch myself in the face after that happened because I knew I was going to get thrown out. In real life, he probably would have been sent against Melvin Upton Jr., who never has had a good arm, and I had a fast runner. And this one's just out of Gwyn's reach. And then when we go to check out the uh, feedback here, if I remember correctly, he was either late or just late on this one as well, which would make both hits in his in this game. Yep, just late. Again, inner third, just late. Ropes one over my head. Not a fisted single on the opposite side, you know. Not a fisted single. It was a blast, a nice shot. You know what I'm saying? And that's what's really beginning to annoy me. And this, like, I don't remember what the heck happened here. Again, this was one that I thought when, when I hit that X button, that was going to be over the fence. But let's see the feedback there. Look at that. Good fly ball. It gave me a yellow contact for whatever reason, but my reticle was right, like, on it. Right on it. I know it's kind of hard to see there because the um, the fielding preferences was there, but I was, like, right on it. And then this. This I was waiting for. This Freddie Freeman, who's a freaking beast, guys. You don't have Freddie Freeman. Get him in your lineup. Get him in your on your collection before he's too expensive. And look at this. Good. But chased. It's like chased this one, too. It's like chased that ball, and it was clearly in the strike zone. And this one with Yo. All I gotta say is, yo, yo, that's perfect. You can't get any more perfect than that. And just a line drive out. Really, really frustrating. And I don't know if he was if he was on time on this one. He was in the, This may have been another late hit from this guy. Or he may have been on this one. This may have been the one that he was actually on. Nope. Late line drive again. Inner third, 99 miles per hour opposite way. But with Trey Turner, what happened? Nothing good happened with Trey Turner when I hit one directly on the screws. On the frickin' screws, absolutely nothing happened. And this, this was, I don't even know. I don't even know. I was beside myself with this. I thought I was on this. And then also the game made my runner run back. So I was out there, which stunk, whatever. He should have caught that ball anyway. We traded runners. I got the slower runner on base now. But look at the PCI plays. But look at this. How was that a dinky little pop-up? How? I don't understand. This is Tony Gwynn, breakout Tony Gwynn, who has 90 contact against lefties, okay? That is ridiculous. I'm sorry. I was right on that. And this was actually a ball that he finally got on. I was throwing this guy fastballs inside pretty much all game, because the only thing that he was hitting off me, really, were breaking balls. So I decided he had a slow bat. I'm just gonna throw him inside. He was actually probably right on that one, based upon where the uh, ball actually went. But um, here we got Yoenis Cespedes Ses here, and we're in the 10th inning now. This was a really frustrating game. Like I was saying, and luckily that went, you know, out of play over here. And I was just sitting on a fastball here, just looking to drive it out and get a... And <laughs> he gives me a slider, I'm able to check my swing, thankfully. I'm like, alright, I'm looking for that fastball. All I need is the fastball, hopefully we can drive one out of the ballpark. He gives me another ball outside, we work back to a 2-2 two and two count. I'm in the driver's seat here, waiting for it, and BAM! That's it! Walk-off home run, Joe Ennis... Cespedes. And that, that's it, guys. Let me know how the hitting is for you in this game. Do me a favor. Leave it in the comment section. If you're not subscribed, subscribe and like the video if you like the video. And hopefully I'll catch you all soon. Later.